tender flaky baked fish covered in a buttery lemon sauce. It's no wonder my baked fish recipe, which comes together in less than 20 minutes, is a big fan favorite. Honestly, if you need more fish in your life, this is the recipe to try. Even those who don't love fish have confessed to me that they will eat this recipe over and over. And the secret to it is in this lemony, buttery sauce. It makes it so delicious. So we're gonna start by making the sauce and it's very easy. We've got about five tablespoons of fresh lemon juice, very important. Use fresh lemon juice. It makes a ton of difference in flavor. Just a little bit of butter melted butter or ghee, and then a good bit of extra virgin olive oil. I'm aiming for just over a quarter cup, about five tablespoons. And then minced garlic, like five garlic cloves right here. Get your oven hot to 400 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and season the flour, and that's how we're gonna season the fish. I'm using some of my favorite combination of ingredients for seasoning fish. Cumin is almost always a must for me and coriander when it comes to fish. So I have a little bit of cumin, a little bit of coriander. I'm not measuring, but I'm gonna have the link for the recipe for you, so don't you worry. Paprika, you can smell it already. And then we have just a big pinch of kosher salt and black pepper. All the seasonings and olive oils I use are on our site, themediterraneandish.com. Just hit the shop tab and you'll see them all. So a good pinch of black pepper. We're only using about a third a cup here of flour. We don't need much. We're just gonna give the fish a dusting. Now we're gonna dip the fish in the lemon. Any white fish here will work. This is the lemon, butter, and olive oil. This is how you impart flavor immediately on the fish. Then you're gonna go ahead and dredge it in this beautiful seasoned flour mixture. And like I said, we're not really trying to make a crust, just giving it flavor. This is because we're gonna sear the fish before we put it in the oven, just to give it some color. And so the coating of flour here helps protect the fish. And we're almost done here. This recipe is literally like a 15 minute, 20 minute situation. And it is better than a restaurant fancy seafood meal, honestly. So if you have not tried it or if you just need a really good fish recipe, I highly recommend. I lived near the Mediterranean, so we always had access to fresh fish, but I now live in Atlanta, Georgia, and that's not quite the case. So oftentimes, if I want really good wild caught cod or any other wild caught fish, that's my oven, it's ready. I go to the freezer section and it's okay because technology has really improved and now flash frozen fish is great, especially if it's wild caught. You just need to thaw it in the fridge overnight and it's just as fine to work with it here. But do make sure if you're going to work with frozen fish that it needs to be thawed before use in this recipe. You're gonna look here and you're gonna say, wow, that's a lot more juice than you used. I'm gonna use all the juice, so do not get rid of the sauce. The sauce is the best part, and we're gonna use it in just a second here. So we're going to the stove. All right, so this recipe finishes in the oven, but all we need here is to just get a little bit of color on our fish. So I like to sear it in a cast iron skillet, which is oven safe, so it goes right in the oven. We're gonna turn this on to medium high heat and then a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. And don't forget, we're gonna add our sauce to it in just a minute here. My mama told me, you gotta make sure the oil is ready for you. So I just splash a tiny bit of water and wait for it to see if it sizzles. It is ready. If you do this, step away, step away, going in. One nice large pan. Couple minutes on each side. Wisdom is all over this place. It's like sparkly with wisdom. All right, looking good. I'm not trying to fully cook my fish at this point, just a quick sear. Couple minutes on each side. We're gonna turn the heat off. We're gonna add the sauce, the rest of it. And then this is headed right in the oven. 10 minutes should do it. Coming in hot, flaky, buttery, lemony, all the good stuff. 
Let's dig in. <laughs> We've got a lemony sauce with loads of garlic. I cannot eat fish without garlic, you guys, but look how flaky this is. And you do not want to overcook your fish, trust me. Who wants a overcooked fish? This recipe is foolproof and so good. Mm. Drew, you're gonna like this fish. There are loads more amazing fish recipes right here on the channel. You might also like my lemon garlic baked salmon. Check it out next. Grab the recipe for baked cod over on the dish.com. I will see you later. Ciao.